Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brenda Sabata with Timu Fashionistas. Today we'll be talking about cheap thrills in Kingsville with Monica Lopez. Next we'll present the Mary representatives and fashion club guests with Melissa Trevino. And last but not least, Classy vs. Trashy here on campus. Hi, my name is Monica Lopez and I'm here at the Southgate Shopping Center in Kingsville on a mission to find fashionable apparel at an affordable price. Most college students like myself are on a tight budget, so when it comes to following the latest fashion trends, funds are limited. So let's check out these stores and see what I can find. I was able to find items that can easily turn your summer wardrobe into fashionable fall outfits. When it comes to fall, you want to go with warmer, deeper colors such as reds, oranges, yellows, browns, and burgundies. And for the cooler days, you want to cover up a bit more. Elaine is modeling what we did with these items. This outfit just screams fall with the burnt orange top and matching knee-high boots. We paired up this outfit with gold bangles and a sling bag. Here we have a burgundy top with a cream-colored cardigan. The lighter color of the cardigan gives us more of a feminine look. We use jeans you already have from your closet, preferably a dark wash jean. Elaine is wearing flats right now, but you can change your look by wearing boots or sandals. The next outfit can be for day or night wear. The nice long dress that we found at Route 21 for only $6 can be paired with heels, flats, or sandals, with or without a jacket. I'm Monica Lopez. This was Cheap Thrills with Tamuk Fashionistas. See you next time. Next, we'll present the Mary Kay representatives and fashion club guests with Melissa Trevino. I'm a sales director with Mary Kay, and Kelsey is in my unit, and she invited me to come do class, a class down here for all of her friends. I'm going to be doing facials and makeovers with our new At Play line that is targeted towards college-age kids. I'm really excited to get the opinions of college-age kids because that is what this, this new line is designed for. I don't really know how to put on makeup. Personally, I never put on makeup. Like right now, I don't have anything on. So I want to know just like what are the details that I'm missing out on how to put on makeup So and what Mary Kay offers. I wasn't doing anything in my room at the time, so I came to check it out and I was glad I did. Hi, I'm Melissa Trevino, and I'm here with Leslie Lozano, Vice President of the Fashion and Interior Merchandising Club. Leslie, what influenced you into studying in the field of fashion? I think once I realized that I could actually have an established career, that's when I decided that I wanted to go into fashion. Um, I've always been inspired by clothing and art, and so I felt it'd be the perfect idea to go into fashion. What have you learned fashion to be? I feel fashion is more than what society tells us to be. Um, we, we see when we flip through magazines and we see this image of what we think fashion is, but it's so much more than that. And through fashion you have style, and with style is how you express yourself, and you're basically advertising yourself. You're supposed to be letting people know who you are through your clothing, and I feel style is very important. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Leslie, for, having, for being with us. It was nice having you. I'm Melissa Trevino, and I am here with the Vice President of the Fashion and Interior Merchandising Club. Welcome back to another segment of Tamuk Fashionistas. Today I'll be giving out my opinion using my fashion sense on some outfits students are wearing around campus. I'll be letting y'all know the do's and don'ts of your outfit and what you can do to help improve it from head to toe. For the first outfit, we have a girl wearing a medium mahogany brown leather jacket with a white knit sweater to add contrast. It's paired up with some faded denim blue jeans with a tall, flat, dark brown loop. She is also pairing her outfit with a gray and white scarf, with con which contradicts her whole outfit. Okay guys, I understand that a statement piece is a must-have in everyone's wardrobe, but just make sure it's the right type of statement. Make sure it doesn't throw your whole outfit off. So for this outfit, even though I would change the hairstyle and the scarf, I'm giving it an oh yes for staying on trend with boots, jacket, and dark fall colors. Number four, she is wearing tight blue jeans with a light denim butternut top with a high school letterman jacket. She also paired it up with dark brown buckled belt and black tall flat boots. I would give this outfit an oh no, only because of a couple of fashion mishaps. One of them being she paired up brown accessories with black boots. Please try not to do that. The second mishap is please try not to wear your letterman jacket. It's oversized and it hides the rest of your outfit. It's just a hashtag no. 
Thank you for watching and follow us on Twitter at Tim McFashionistas. Also, don't forget to like our Facebook page. This is Brenda Sabata. We'll see you next semester. Happy holidays. And remember, we'll be watching, so keep wearing. Fashion.